Hi everyone, welcome back. You are watching Math with Anila. We have seen the properties of rational numbers in the previous class like closure property, commutative property, associative property, existence of additive inverse and existence of additive identity. Today, let's solve few sums to understand those operations. Consider few of the questions. Consider the first question. 6 by 11 plus minus 9 by 11. So here, uh, you can evaluate and find the value. And one more property we can prove here. That is the uh, commutative property as well as the closure property. Whenever you are finding the sum here, if you are getting again a rational number, the first property, that's a closure property, will be proved. Even the commutative property also can be uh, proved by using the same question sum. First, let's find what is the sum of 6 by 11 plus minus 9 by 11. Since the denominators are same, we can just add only the numerators. Upon 11, this will be 6 plus minus 9. That is equal to, see we have already seen, whenever we are multiplying a positive sign with a negative sign, this becomes negative. 6 minus 9 divided by 11. So 6 minus 9, here we are using the sign rule. Minus 9 is greater than 6. So subtract 6 from 9. That is equal to minus 3 by 11. This is your answer. Look at the next question. 5 by 9 plus minus 7 by 6. Here the denominators are different. So what we have to do first is to take the LCM of 9 and 6. Let's take the LCM. 9, 6. So if we divide it by 3, 3, 3's are 9 and 3, 2's are 6. So here further division is not possible. So your LCM will be 3, 3's are 9, 9, 2's are 18. So LCM is equal to 18. Now we have to make both the uh, fractions with the same denominators. Let's see how to do it. That's equal to 5 by 9 into 18 by 18 plus minus 7 by 6 into 18 by 18. So 9 by 9 and 18 cancels. So you'll be getting 2 here and 6 3s are 18. Now uh, let's write 5 2s are 10. 10 by 18 plus minus 7 into 3 divided by 18. That is equal to 10 by 18 minus 21 by 18. Here minus into plus is minus. So uh, here the denominators are same. Just do the subtraction. That is 10 minus 21 divided by 18. That is equal to 10 minus 21. Difference between 10 and 21 is 11. And the greater number is 21. So this will be minus 11 divided by 18. This is your answer. See the third question. 4 plus 3 by minus 5. 4 is a rational number and here uh, the denominator of this 4 as well. So we can write this question as 4 by 1 plus 3 by minus 5 can be written as minus 3 by 5. Now we have to take the LCM. The LCM of 1 and 5 is 5 that we know. 4 5s are 20 plus minus 3. Now that's equal to 20 Plus into minus is minus 3 divided by 5. It's equal to 17 by 5. Here the greater number is 20 and we are subtracting 3 from 20. You get 17 and 17 by 5 will be your answer. We can convert this into mixed fraction. That will be how to convert into mixed fraction. Just you have to divide normal division. You have to do 5 threes are 15. The remainder is 2. So your answer will be 3, 2 by 5. Look at this question. Here we have four terms and the denominators are also different. So what we need to do is the first thing we have to take the LCM of all these terms. Only 7 and 9 are there. So we'll take the LCM. We'll get this as 7 9s are 63 will be your LCM. So LCM is equal to 63. The same way we have to make the uh, denominator same. What you have to do is 3 by 7 into 63 by 63 plus minus 4 by 9 into 63 by 63 plus minus 11 by 7 into 63 by 63 
plus 7 by 9 into 63 by 63. Here, cancel the, the 7 with the 63, you will get this as 9 and this will be 7, this will be again 9 and this will be 7. Multiply and write it. 3 nines are 27 by 63. Then plus into minus is minus. 4 sevens are 28 by 63. Again plus into minus is minus. 99 by 63. Then plus 7 into 7. 49 by 63. So all the denominators are same. Just we have to add or subtract the numerators. Let's write it. So this will be upon 63. 27 minus 28 minus 99 plus 49 that is equal to 27 and minus 28 is minus 1 minus 1 and minus 99 is minus 100 so we'll write minus 100 plus 49 divided by 63 now that's equal to Minus 100 and plus 49 will be minus 51 divided by 63. This is your final answer. Now, you can solve these questions and find the answer. Let's meet in the next class. Thank you.